Hey guys, this is Mika Coleman with Tax Deed and Overage. And I today I want to talk about the three biggest mistakes that most newbies make, period. Now, of course, I'm going to apply this to my niche, but as I was writing like the three biggest mistakes that most newbies make, I was like, oh my God, this actually does apply to like everyday life. So no matter what you're actually doing in life, whether it's, you know, starting a business or wanting to accomplish a goal, um, I realized that I was like, wow, I was like, this could actually apply to life. But anyway, um, I'm going to talk about three things that pretty much keeps you stuck in just about anything. But I'm going to, of course, apply this to my niche, which is tax deeds and overages. And um, number three is going to shock you because I was like, in my opinion, I'm only going to talk about myself. I'm going to be completely transparent because I feel like number three is like the biggest like secret that I don't even think a lot of us even notice or recognize. But when I tell you guys, when I uh, do like, when I go back over my day, I realize that number three gets me every time. I wouldn't say every time, but often. <laughs> uh, but thank God that I have uh, leveraged some of my work. So it doesn't um, cause so much of a problem. But anyway, I'm gonna get right into the topic. And um, I'm going to talk about the three things that is like the biggest, I, in my opinion, the biggest mistake that most newbies make, especially when you're starting like a new niche. Uh, it's really, really important um, to not allow these three things. So I'm going to get into the first one. It's fear. Literally, I feel like when I talk to people, I realize fear is one of the most biggest mistakes that most newbies make. In my opinion, everyone that I've talked to has been super smart, very intellectual, highly educated. And I realized that fear is actually correct. It's false evidence appearing real. Um, now, I do know that a lot of people are like, okay, but what if I don't know this niche? Because a lot of people haven't heard of this niche. But the reality is um, most people uh, have purchased a home. So they kind of understand the real estate process. And so I really believe that a lot of people take fear and then they they kind of like run with it as opposed to just looking at the simple processes and the simple systems that I put in place. Uh, I realize that it's really the unknown that scares people. It's not the reality of investing. So number one, I feel like the biggest mistake that most newbies make is fear. They're just afraid of the unknown. They're afraid of the process. They're afraid of the obstacles. They're afraid of the challenges that may come up. But the reality is, is that it's really not as bad as you think it is. It's just false evidence appearing real, which is fear. And I always tell people, listen, if you go through my channel and you listen to all the videos, you're going to realize it's not as hard as it seems. I give away a lot of information. So that's number one, I feel like most newbies make is just, you know, staying in their head. So I always tell people, get out of your head, just get out of your head. And I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step processes. Now, I don't have them in this YouTube channel, but there are processes in there that you can learn and figure it out, right? Number two is I feel like this can be applied anywhere in life, right? I realize I've been an entrepreneur for 20 years. And one thing that I do know is a fact that will keep you stuck from anything or, you know, getting great at anything is consistency. You have to be consistent, guys. Now, I would say this more so for overages as opposed to tax deeds, because I feel like tax deeds, uh, the principle or the system that I use, it doesn't, it's like, once you understand the, the system and the principles that I go by, you can pretty much take that anywhere. Like you could go to any state, anywhere, just follow the principles and rinse and repeat. But as far as overages are concerned, you definitely have to be consistent. But I feel like anything that you do in life, if you want to be great at it, if you want to you know, go at a higher level, you have to be consistent because consistency is going to get you greater results. It's going to get you better at what you're doing. And that's how you really become an expert at anything is being consistent and how the solution to this problem is time blocking. 
I don't care if it's an hour a day. Just imagine if you spent an hour a day each day doing something that you want to learn or apply to your life. If you do that one hour a day, that one hour is probably going to increase to two hours because you're going to begin to enjoy it. You're going to begin to learn more. I know like <laughs> when I started working out, right, I used to hate going to the gym. I was like, oh my God. But I realized as I put it in my schedule and I was consistently going, now it's a part of my life. It's like every day. It's like, actually, it's it's my therapy, actually. Like, I cannot not go to the gym. But I remember there was a time where I dreaded going to the gym. You know what I'm saying? So uh, consistency is key to actually the overage business. And I would say the tax deed, but not as much. I mean, once you learn accounting and you follow the process, it's really simple and it's rinse and repeat. But as far as overages is concerned, you definitely, definitely have to be consistent. And number three, this is going to shock you. I mean, it actually shocked me when I was working with a coach and I was like, wow, I would have never thought this is the reason why I'm not getting the results that I want is distractions literally distractions. When I tell you that I get distracted so easily that I didn't even recognize how much time I was spending on the phone and not on the phone closing deals and clients, but on the phone talking to friends or, or answering emails. I was I realized I would look at the end of my day and I'd write down, of course I do a checklist, but when I, uh, my coach had me write down literally everything that I did. And when I realized was, I was like, I was spending a lot of time on the phone, but what I realized that's a distraction. And I think a lot of us don't realize how much um, distractions can cost us. Like the time you're spending listening to someone that has a problem that always is going to have that problem, right? Like why waste your time? So the three things that are the biggest mistakes I feel like newbies make is, and I want to say in real estate in general, but in specifically the tax deed and overage niche is one, fear. They're just afraid. They're afraid of the unknown. They're afraid of obstacles process, but there's so much information out there that you should not be afraid. And I provide so much information that you could kind of probably connect the dots, right? Number two is consistency. In order to be great in anything, you have to be consistent. Just like you want that consistent paycheck every month, you have to be consistent with yourself and the promises that you make. And number three is distractions, you guys. Don't allow distractions to get in the way of your ultimate goal. I hope this video helps. Um, those are my three things that I think are the biggest mistakes that most newbies make, period. Whether it's real estate investing, whether it's you trying to start a new business. it's I mean, I feel like it's one of the biggest mistakes that most people make when they're starting out something new or a new endeavor. I hope this uh, video was helpful. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please drop them in the link. If you are interested in wanting a checklist or a free ebook on this topic, uh, please uh, click the link below and I have a free ebook for you. Happy investing, you guys.